Hey, this is Matt Wong, and today I want to talk about the biggest voice role I've ever had. In 2016, Jack Han, better known as Pep Online, sought me out to voice the main character in his machinima, Lucifer. Usually, I'm not entrusted with a role as a main character, maybe because people don't think I'm a good enough voice actor, or that my voice just doesn't work as a protagonist. So even though Pep wasn't a huge director at the time, having only released trailers for Planet 936, I was pretty happy to take that role. What I didn't know is that voicing for Lucifer would take more of my time than any role before or since. And that's because throughout the production of Lucifer, it was constantly being revised. Scenes were added and changed several times throughout production, and it's because of that that Pep was able to tell a compelling enough story to end up on the first page when you type in Halo 5 Machinima into YouTube. Lucifer will likely always be my biggest claim to fame. Briefly after Lucifer came out, a few people around the community called me the voice of Lucifer, and I still use the video as a reference to this day when I audition for voice roles. And as a result, I've probably watched Lucifer 10 or more times by now. The thing is, after watching it that many times, I started to think about the world of Lucifer, and I thought about the events that take place and what they mean. And the more I think about it, the more I think Joshua Marnay, the character that I voice, is potentially the antagonist of the story. And here's why. At the beginning of the story, there's a sort of montage where the UMC, or the government, is mercilessly killing civilians, which sounds like a bad thing. But there's one line that made me doubt whether or not killing those civilians was a necessary evil. During the montage, the governor, or whatever, briefly mentions that the reason he's killing civilians is to eradicate the virus Infernia. Other than being mentioned once, we don't hear any more details about the virus, and we as a viewer have no idea how dangerous this virus is. For all we know, the virus Infernia is a contagion that threatens to eliminate the human race if it isn't contained. Anyway, Joshua Marnay, the main character, is honored at the beginning of the film for being instrumental in quarantining the areas where the virus spread. Joshua either doesn't have enough information or just can't handle the guilt of being responsible for the deaths of that many people. So he goes nuts and attacks the governor. But before he does, he overhears a conversation. It sounds like the governor plans to nuke an entire region to destroy the rebellion. However, we don't hear the beginning of this conversation. And the only mention of the rebellion is his advisor telling him that they don't want to give them time to react. And react could mean a lot of things. The advisor says that it's their best option. Joshua thinks they're doing this only to destroy the rebellion, but it's possible that the virus Infernia has spread to these sectors, and that their best option is to nuke the entire region to contain the virus. This could have been said earlier in the conversation, and weirdly I find it more believable than the government knowingly wiping out millions just to stop a rebel group. That would probably eventually be wiped out through conventional means anyways. Bringing out nukes is a big step. And it wouldn't even be considered unless there's something bigger at stake than just a rebel group. It's possible that the rebel group just happens to be there, and wiping them out is an added bonus. And that's the part where Joshua obviously comes in. Anyways, Joshua Marnay escapes, and after a big battle, he's able to stop the UMC from launching the nukes, and instead gives the rebellion the nukes to turn back on the owner, as he says. We, of course, don't know what happens after the story ends, but it's possible that because of what Joshua did, the virus Infernia was allowed to spread, and the terrorist group known as the Rebellion now has two nuclear missiles that they can use to threaten the government into giving them anything they want. I don't believe this is a good thing, and it's possible that Joshua caused more death and suffering than he would have if he didn't betray the UMC. That's just my theory, and it's pretty unusual to make a theory video on a machinima, but I figured... What the hell, it's probably my biggest role ever, so I might as well. Anyways, I thought Lucifer has the potential to have even more depth than it already has. But either way, I think it's one of the best machinimas out there. For those of you that remember watching Lucifer and liking it, feel free to check out Pep's channel in the description. He's currently working on his new machinima series, Promised Land, which is a great series so far. I highly recommend you check it out. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Later.